from CJ on her toe with Toad again today, and it's springtime. Shorts, I don't know why I'm not wearing my hat today, but because it's, it's really nice outside, instead of playing games inside, you bring them outside. And I've been playing the 3DS a lot. You know, Kid Icarus just came out, uh, Resident Evil Revelations came out a little while ago, but the Vita also came out, and people kind of noticed, you know, it had two, two analog sticks. That was kind of a big deal. You can play shooters and stuff on that, lots of different things, control the camera. And the 3DS was kind of missing that, but fear not, Nintendo decided to fix this with an accessory. This is the Circle Pad Pro. Now, the device actually only takes one AAA battery. It says in the manual that it can last you 480 hours. I don't know if that's true yet. I've had the thing since the day it came out. It's still working fine, uh, and I've used it quite a bit. But we're going to show you how to install it. So, it's pretty simple. There's actually no, no clips or anything, and no plugs. Uh, you'll see these little rubber uh, bumpers that are right here. There's a couple down here, and then some on the sides. And these are actually what holds it in. It actually also comes with one of these, uh, which kind of looks like the original, when the DS came out, they gave you one of these with a thumb stud on it. So, all you have to do to install this thing is take this thumb strap, and after you've put it in, you loop it around the side, and then you just push it in place, and it's on. Uh, now this is actually where I discovered the first issue with this, though. They didn't put any stylus holder on the outside of this. You have to take your stylus out first, and if you mess it up, you can't take this out without closing it. And because the 3DS puts like lines on your screen, that means I now have to close it, undo that, then get it out. You also can't get to your wireless switch from this, so if you want to turn that on, you have to turn it on first, and leave it on, then turn your 3DS off so it's on next time. And this is a, a bit of a pain. Alright, now, only a couple of games support this device right now. You have uh, Resident Evil Revelations, which came out the first day. Uh, you have Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater 3D, um, and that, I have not played that game yet, but that supports it. And then Kid Icarus supports it. The device is about 20 bucks, and it's pretty good. It doesn't have any delay or anything. I haven't had any issues with it. And it's pretty durable. I think uh, if I drop my 3DS with this on, it would, it would probably protect it a lot better. So I'd say this is probably a pretty good buy. If you're going to be playing some, uh, some games like Metal Gear, or definitely Resident Evil, or obviously if you're a lefty playing Kid Icarus, uh, there is one thing I want to point out, though. This is actually a pretty thick device, and that stand that Kid Icarus comes with, this doesn't work with that, so you just have to sit it on your lap. It's around $20. I believe you can only get it at GameStop right now, but it is still a really good buy, and it'll last you 480 hours, apparently. Mm -hmm.